Just thought I'd round off the uh, redox stuff with how you combine half equations. So basically half equations just tell you half the redox story. So we've got the reduction half in this top equation because it's gaining electrons. And we've got the oxidation half in this second equation because we're losing an electron. So if we were want to combine these two half equations together to generate the redox reaction, which involves both processes, we basically just need to add the two equations together, but we need the electrons to disappear. So we need to multiply out so that that will happen. So you can see we've got only one electron involved in this one, but we've got five in this one. So all we need to do is multiply this equation by five and add it to this one here. So the overall redox reaction looks like that. I haven't bothered putting the electrons in because we would have had five on the left and five on the right. So they're obviously going to cancel. So I didn't bother writing them in. We'll have a look at one more. So we've got this, these two half equations here. Uh, we're losing three electrons in the oxidation half equation and we're gaining two electrons in the reduction half equation. So we're going to need to multiply both of these um, half equations out before we add them together. So the top one, we're going to multiply by two to get the electrons up to six. And the bottom one, we're going to multiply by three to get those up to six. OK, so that's what you get when you multiply out the half equations and just add them together. You'll notice the electrons aren't there because they cancel. But we can't leave this as our um, final redox reaction because we've got like terms on each side of the equation. So when that is the case, and it's often with hydroxide ions, as is the case here. Sometimes it's H2O, sometimes it's H+, sometimes it's a mixture of those. You've got to cancel down the like terms. So for this one, we're going to lose the six hydroxide ions on the right. And we're going to take this down to 10. So the final reaction would look like that.